over the years, we have experienced a lot of changes in our society and we've tried our best to play our part in it. Our motive was driven by four E's education, empowerment, employability and environment. Our vision was to inspire people to dream big and believe that they can come true. We are Literacy India and we began our journey 25 years ago when Captain Indrani Singh took an initiative to provide access to education to underprivileged children from rural areas and allow them to express themselves, grow and build a future on their terms. We have been successful in launching various projects, helping and inspiring millions of people. This is the story about our journey. In 1996, we decided to introduce Pat Shala as our first initiative to provide basic education to the children of the village Chauma in Haryana. And within a year, we launched two more programs, Shikshart and Jagrukta, which included art as a subject in our curriculums to encourage young bright minds to express themselves through creativity. We expanded our programs to rural regions of Haryana and Delhi. And by 1999, we introduced our scholarship program called Gurukul. Gurukul children are Mensa scholars and their journey started from non-formal to formal schooling, private schooling, engineering colleges, professional institutes and now a lot of them are working in MNCs and various other industries. Gurukul extended from Delhi NCR to West Bengal in 2010 and the primary focus of the program was on uplifting the tribal communities of India through imparting literacy and making them self-reliant. Project Vidya Pete is Literacy India's flagship project and started in 2000. The core idea of the project is to impart basic quality education and aid holistic development of children hailing from the lowest economic strata of society. Vidya Pete primarily focuses on making up for the lost years of an underprivileged child's life and vocational skill set in education to change the aptitude of children. In the year 2002, we began working on another influential project called Kari Gari. This project focused on training and providing subsistence to oppressed women across various parts of India. As the motto of the project said, Earn while you learn, this project linked backward communities with modern livelihood ideas. We successfully reached out to migrant and rural population of Haryana and Delhi. We added ICT that is computer education, skill training for youth, adolescent girls as a vocation. Another highlight of Literacy India's initiative was motor driving training for women as a flagship program under the Women Empowerment Project. This resulted in achieving India's first women driver in Maruti Suzuki Limka Book of Record in the name of Literacy India. By the year 2005, Literacy India launched Project Inda which aims at skill development of women from urban slums and rural communities of Delhi NCR, Haryana, West Bengal, Jharkhand and Rajasthan. We follow an earn while you learn approach that encourages skill development. Indha has benefited over 10,000 artisans with 17 centers having 650 women working in them. Our initiative started making ripples of change across the country and our projects got recognition from government and other organizations. In 2007, we launched Project Arogyam, aimed at health-related issues of the community. This project focused on providing basic medical facilities for the underprivileged in villages. In 2007, Literacy India achieved one more milestone by setting up a waste paper recycling unit in Gurugram to improve the environment and provide livelihood opportunities for women. It was the first waste paper recycling plant set up in Gurgaon by a non-profit organization. Under Patshala, Literacy India started the Street Children's Program. The project helped to mainstream and rehabilitate around 200 street children under the Street to School Program. Gyan Tantra originated from these street programs to address the needs of out-of-school children and fill their learning gap. Formally, in 2009, Literacy India launched their first digital learning platform called Gyan Tantra Digital Dost, 
across the centers, government schools, NGO partners, in 11 states and in 104 locations throughout the country to reduce the learning gap in children. By 2011, Literacy India took a step forward into assessing issues related to the environment. We focused on using solar energy and rainwater harvesting at our school in village Bajkhera, Gurugram and expanded in 2020 to Rajasthan and Gujarat. In 2015, Literacy India focused on encouraging organic farming. We started educating and training farmers in sustainable agriculture as an initiative towards preserving the environment. In the same year, Project Vidyapeet also launched vocational labs as per their NIOS guidelines to develop STEM temper in students. Our flagship program Vidyapeet aims to make quality education accessible to all with a special emphasis on the holistic development of children from the lowest economic strata of society. By the year 2017, our Arogyam project also launched the first bike ambulance service in Jhalavar, Rajasthan. In 2018 and 2019, Literacy India won the Bhama Shah Award for successfully implementing the Gyan Tantra Digital Dost program in government schools across Rajasthan. In 2020, like every other organization, COVID-19 pandemic made things difficult for various communities and villages that benefited from Literacy India. But we steered through these hard times and made sure that our beneficiaries were free from the impact of COVID-19. The immediate launch of the digital learning environment benefited 2,000 students of Vidyapeet, Gyan Tantra and Patshala. Our journey has been of growth, progress and of like-minded people coming together with a vision to make a change, which has been quite impactful and remarkable. We have come so far in achieving our vision in all these 25 years, with the dedication and hard work of volunteers, the trust and belief of beneficiaries, and the generosity and kindness of donors and well-wishers. We have succeeded in reaching the goals for our community, and if we can do it, anyone can. All it takes is an idea and the willpower to do it. With many more years to come, new heights to achieve and millions of lives to be reformed, we continue this never-ending journey and aim to contribute more to the progress of this nation.